This is module three, lesson 20, homework side one. Today's objective was to use place value strategies and the associative property n times m times 10 equals n times n times 10, or n and m are less than 10, to multiply multiples of 10. Number one, use the chart to complete the equations. Then solve. Letter A, I see that there are two rows of five that have been moved from the ones place to the tens place. So that is being represented as 10 ones times 10. 10 times 10 is counting by 10, 10 times. So I can count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Letter B. Again, I have 2 times 5 times 10. This time, they are moving 5 ones to give me 2 sets of 5 ones in the tens place. So I have 2 times 5 tens. Another way of saying 5 tens is 50. So I am multiplying 2 times 50. If I use some strategies that I've learned in class, I know that I can ignore the 0 and I can just multiply 2 times 5, which is 10, add a 0 to the end. 2 times 5 tens or 2 times 50 is 100. Letter C, this is similar to letter A. So I have four groups of five ones that have been moved over to the tens place. So I have four times five. Four times five is 20. I have 20 ones. I'm going to multiply those 20 ones by 10. So I'm going to count Ignore those, actually I'm going to ignore those zeros. So I have 2 times 10, which is 20, and I'm going to add one more zero to the end, giving me 200. Letter D, I have one group of ones. When I've moved them over to the tens, now I have four groups with five in each group, each representing 10. So I have 5 times 10. 5 times 10 is 50. When I write that in tens, I have 5 tenths. So I have 4 times 5 tenths. Try to solve that problem on your own.